peripheral vision. I am Dr. Goel from Sanjeevan for Perfect Eyesight Bombay. Today's talk is peripheral vision. Very important topic. Eyes are one of the five sense organs of all human being. This is very important which allows us to see the object and scenery around us. 80% of the information of anything we get by vision, by eyes, which we can see. What is vision? Vision is the ability of the eyes to see and to include all visual abilities and skills like focus, accuracy, and depth perception, colors, etc. The what is type of vision? Central vision and peripheral vision. Central vision is also called as phobia vision. Peripheral vision is also called as side vision or indirect vision. Central vision is by macula, center part of the retina. What we can see straight ahead, straight in the center of the eye is the central vision. It is sharper than peripheral vision. It gives us idea of fine vision, color vision, day vision. And also very important, the portion of the retina is responsible for central vision, is macula, center part of the retina. Peripheral vision is a very vital and very important part of the vision which give us the vision away from central vision. Out the out corner of our eyes or central part away from the central vision is the peripheral vision. This is also very important. The cells responsible for that other nerve cells and the rod cells, they are in periphery of the retina. The usefulness of the peripheral vision is very, very important in our daily life. Peripheral vision is outside of the central vision, as I said. The 170 to 180 degree of the vision field is there for the all human beings, uh, as we see in the vision. The 100 and 110 degree can be covered by the peripheral vision. It can be further divided in three. Far peripheral vision, which is from 60% to 110% or 110 degree, I should say, not percent, degree, 60 degree to 110 degree of the vision free. Mid peripheral vision, 30 to 60 degree of the vision free. Near peripheral vision, which is 18 degree to 30 degree of the vision free. So it is very, very important uh, part of the vision. The peripheral vision is useful for walking in the night, in the darkness, vision in the night, coming down from the step because depth perception is also being taken care of by peripheral vision. Photosensitivity, like uh, photophobia and all can happen if any problem in the peripheral vision. Driving, we see peripheries while we are driving, playing sports and games. Etc. The what are the conditions where the peripheral vision get lost? Very important. There are so many conditions, so many diseases in that peripheral vision can get affected. This is the main important part is retina and dyspigmentosa where the peripheral vision get affected. The person's vision it become like a tunnel vision with a loss from the typical RP loss from the periphery goes towards the center. Other condition may be glaucoma. Optic atrophy, optic neuritis. There are so many other conditions also, like retinal detachment and other conditions which can give rise to uh, peripheral vision loss. How to, what are the symptoms of peripheral vision loss? Like as I said, difficulty in walking in the darkness, seeing in the night, coming down from the step, peripheral side vision get lost. And the photophobia, when the light comes from the eyes, they get photophobia. That is also taken care of with the peripheral vision. They are mostly the symptoms of peripheral vision loss. How to diagnose, how to test for peripheral vision? The test, which is called as perimeter field test. I am going to show you one report of the field test. 
which gave us idea about the peripheral vision, uh, what is the severity of the loss of the peripheral vision and what is the peripheral vision. Previously, there was black and white uh, perimetry machines were there, but now color perimetries are available. They are more informative than black and white perimetry because slightest change in the color of the perimetry can give us the idea of movement of duration perimetry. Treatment part. Treatment of peripheral vision loss is first to treat the cause. For example, head injury that also can be raised to peripheral vision. Treat that. If it is tumor, treat the tumor. If it is glaucoma, treat the glaucoma. If it is optic neuritis, treat the optic neuritis. So whatever may be the cause is, we should treat the cause. So the whatever effect of the disease is there on the retina which is giving us a peripheral vision loss or effect on the peripheral vision can be taken care of. And the other important treatment for peripheral vision improvement is what we use here in Sanjeevan for perfect eyesight only where the integrated methods which activate the dormant cells or the weak cells. I have seen by my experience from so many years, a peripheral vision loss is in so many cases like in retinal spermidosa, optic neuritis, optic trophy, glaucoma. The whole cells are not yet damaged of the retina. Certain cells are just lying in the retina. They are called as weak cells and dormant cells. We can activate those weak cells and dormant cells by our indicated methods. Indicated method means so many therapies combined together. I have seen very very good results in improvement of peripheral vision as well as in central vision if it is required. Now I will show you some reports what is the peripheral vision and what is the central vision, what the peripheral vision loss or the central vision loss in the papers here which have been seen by colored perimetry. Now I will show you two reports of perimetry. First one is these all areas in the around side vision, or this is all is lost vision. This is a bad part of vision where the patient can't see. As we have discussed these reports, how to read perimetry in previous videos, black is the worst part for the field test. Brown is better than black. There is vision but less vision, not normal. Green part is better than brown. Yellow part is better than green and white is the best which is not seen much. But here the person is seen from this central vision central part, this is a tunnel vision and the periphery is lost. In second report, central vision is lost. This is central vision which is lost, this black part can be seen. The periphery is clear. When the central vision is lost, it is called a scotoma and the peripheral vision improvement is there of the treatment uh, given to the person who was suffering with uh, cone dystrophy. The periphery started getting better there you can see it's quite clear in the central part having a problem in the vision and the, the deterioration of the cells or dystrophy of the cells. So there are two things peripheral vision loss and central vision loss. I will talk this much in this video. See you in the next video. Thank you very much. You can contact on 932424-0702. You can visit our site www.sanjeevan.in or you can contact us on or mail us on info at the rate